have a confession to make, friends. This is really difficult to say, but I kind of have a cute mini eraser addiction, and I think it's time I got some help. So let's make some more! Oh. So I have purchased this. It is the John Adams Eraser Studio, and this basically make your own erasers with moldable magic, magic clay, guys. Of course, I bought the little pets because you guys know me. I love my animals. They had a, a assortment of different packs, but the little pets are really cool to me. So this is the one that I've got. Contents, it includes a razor clay, moulding tray, water spray bottle, modelling tool and a storage box. So we are going to see what we can make. We're going to try and make one of these moldable ones first and we're going to see how well our own made erasers erase our coloured pencil work. So in the box we have our instructions, our safety instructions as well because you've got to be safe, got to be safe people. We have our spray bottle, our moulding tray and our tool and then we've got a storage box. I'm not entirely sure that we need this to actually make the erasers but it's a nice little storage box to put them in, you know, because you always need to store all of your erasers if you're a eraser enthusiast slash collector like me. <laughs> We have our moulding trays, so I feel like I want to make the cat first. I might make a couple of them just so that we can, you know, have a backup in case one of them goes weird or whatever. Um, we have our clays, not that many sort of natural looking colours, but we'll have to work with what we've got here. Need to spray water into the mould every time you put the clay into the shape so that it comes out easily. Cool. Um, need the clay until it's soft put them in the mold see so, yeah, do we really need to read all this probably not we need to um, put them in the oven as well so we need to put the oven on at some point we have some water in our water bottle so we can spray our mold so I'm gonna start with a cat and I'm gonna make a pastel pink one I don't know how are you supposed to put the eyes and all of that on <laughs> are you just supposed to mold them and stick them on I guess so Let's start by moulding and kneading some of this clay, I suppose. Oh, it's really tough. Do we just... Oh, okay, it's really breakable as well. So if we're going to mould this cat, we're going to put it in this one here. So we just need to sort of... That should be enough, right? We're just going to make a nice pink cat. Ugh, this is really, really tough. Ugh getting softer now but we're kind of dropping it everywhere as well so I feel like we're gonna put maybe white eyes on it do you bake it in the tray you take it out of the tray before baking baking okay so we don't bake it in the tray so we need to take them out so we can put eyes and all of that on afterwards but we need to mold this I think this is probably soft enough to put in the tray so we need to spray the molds let's squish it in Make sure we get into all of the nooks and crannies and then put it together and hopefully we should have a nice moulded cat, right? Ugh. We've got a cat on the front with a really weird mouth. <laughs> That's hilarious. Mm, we've kind of moulded the back. I mean, that'll do. We just have to cut the cat out now, I suppose. Let's use the little knife that it's given us. This is a very delicate operation now. I'm going to squish the kitty cat. We need to take the bottom off as well so that you can stand up. Because I've got to display them on my cabinet with all of the other erasers. So there's our cat. It's come out pretty, pretty decent. I quite like that. So we need to stick some eyes on it. It's really difficult to mould this stuff. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to get it to stick, but we will try our best. So we need some tiny little eyes. So we're just going to make some roundy eyes. These are going to be massive. Maybe I should do half the size of that. <laughs> That's more like it. I'm going to stick those on. 
just kind of smush them onto its face there. It's got one eye bigger than the other. <laughs> but that'll do. Let's put some pupils on this guy. We'll just sort of smush it onto the really, really tiny pieces and just dot. Of course, the bigger eye has to have a bigger pupil. <laughs> he looks absolutely ridiculous. That'll do. Should we, should we give the cat a little mouth? Should we give it like a little indent for a mouth? Oh, it looks so deformed. I'm going to use my embossing tool, I think, for this. I think, I think this calls for an embossing tool. I mean, I feel like we should put a really pink nose on it as well. So let's take a little piece of this pink. Or maybe we could put a collar around its neck. Maybe that's what we do. So if we take a little tiny bit off for a nose. And then go boop, boop. Looks absolutely ridiculous, but I love it. Oh, lovely. Yes. Yes, with your weird eyes. We could put a bell on it, but is that taking it too far? But I feel like this for a first attempt isn't bad. It's got a really weird mouth and one eye bigger than the other, but I like it. Okay, so that one's ready to go in. So we're ready to bake that one. So we're gonna mold the turtle or tortoise next. So we've got another task of squishing this until it's nice and soft. This is so difficult. Okay, this is sufficiently kneaded now, thank God. I'm just gonna give this another spray on that side. Then we're just gonna fill in the hole. Squish him about. And make our turtle, we're gonna squish him. Squish him. Oh, look. Can we cut him out? Can we take off the excess? We can. And we need to dig him out. Can we tap him out? No, I've just squished his foot. I don't wanna squish his face. How are you meant to get him out? Without squishing it. There we go. <laughs> no, <laughs> his foot broke off. I'll have to add his foot back on. This is where they say to spray it, obviously. He's gonna be he's gonna be impaired one with one foot. That's how he's gonna be. So let's stick some eyes. I've got my little black little sausage here to make some eyes. So let's cut some of these off. Roll some tiny little bead sized things one oh boop get off your finger do turtles or tortoises have anything else no do we need to put a little mouth in probably are we gonna make it weird like we did on the other one you bet <laughs> i mean i've just made him look demented again but there we go how cute is he he's got weird eyes as well so we need to make our third one we're gonna make the dog so we're gonna make a blue dog so more kneading is needed. Why is this so difficult? I mean, this is for a ages eight and up. So Jesus, if an eight year old is doing this, good luck to you, because this is damn difficult to, to mold this. Oh, that's enough, it's really hurting my hands. So I'm just gonna, gonna stop there. So we need to add some green spots, but I'm gonna spritz this real good this time. I'm gonna put one like on his bum. Maybe do one like on his ear, like there. Do like a bit of his tail and his leg, apparently. So let's put our blue bit in. Hopefully I've broken off enough. Gosh, this blue one is not nice to play with. Let's squash it, finish off our dog. Hey, he's got some green spots. I really quite like this guy. There we go. Little white bit there. And then he just needs two little pupils. Oh, there we go. Again, he's got weird eyes, but that'll do. Let's give him a nose. And then let's use the embossing tool and just like create like an indent. Those are our animal creations, our attempt at using the mold 
I quite like the turtle. I think the turtle's my favourite. Obviously, I don't really want to try and erase stuff with these because they're too cute. So they're just going to go on my shelf. So what we're going to do is make our own sort of weird animal type thing. Maybe we'll make an apple or something. Let's just make a, a little uh, pink apple. You never know, if it does erase real good, then I can always come back and make some more, but these ones are going on my shelf. That's kind of round, that should do. Little, poke a little hole in the middle for the stalk. I'm gonna make a little stalk out of the screen stuff. Or we could mix it with some, the tiny little bit of the black and make like a, does this mix? Make like a dark green. Chop that in half and make like a tiny little stalk. There we go. This is so tiny to play with. Let's make it like a tiny little bright green leaf. Try and shape it a little bit. Perfect. One tiny little apple. It's kind of a weird looking apple, but I like it. We're gonna go and turn on the oven and we're gonna bake these little guys for, it says 10 minutes until they're cooked. We'll wait for them to cool down and then we're gonna see how they turned out and we're gonna test our little eraser apple. We're gonna test it on some colored pencil. Our erasers have baked. They've had time to cool down. They are now ready to be tested. So the bake on them is actually pretty decent. I mean, they are pretty solid. I'm really happy with these. They are, I mean, the cat still looks a little bit weird, but they don't feel like really squishy erasers. I may have baked them a little bit too long. I only baked them for the eight minutes instead of the 10 because my oven's pretty efficient. But I really like the way that they have actually baked and they're, they're pretty solid. So I'm really happy with the animals apart from like the edging of this blue one was just terrible because just the blue just wasn't working as well as I'd have liked. So I'm really happy with the actual animals and the little apple has actually turned out really nice as well. The leaf and the stalk are actually fairly firm. I'm happy with the overall outcome of this. Okay then the little apple, it's time to make your debut. You're gonna start erasing stuff. So we're gonna start off with our Mars Lumograph graphite pencil here so best of luck poor little apple. kind of feel really bad using this guy because I kind of like the apple more than I like the animals. <laughs> Uh, but we're going to see just how well you do. Here we go. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Okay, okay, okay. It is kind of erasing. There we go. It just requires a little bit of force. And then we can... It's not the best eraser, but it has actually lifted it. Let's just try it with a little bit more pressure. It's still kind of erasing it. It's not really, really super duper clean, but you can see it's lifting, lifting the graphite. So let's see how well it does across ooh, these colored pencils. So we've got our polychromos to begin with. It's not doing a bad job, you know. It has erased it. Okay, it's still erasing. It's still doing a fairly decent job at actually Lifting the colour from the paper, you can see the difference there between between the two. I like the way that the eraser thingies, the little eraser residues are like really multicoloured. Let's see how it gets on with the Caran Dash Illuminance. Yes, lift. There we go. It does actually lift the coloured pencil, which I'm really, really pleased about. Okay, not quite so good on the Prismacolor, but... There we go. So it does actually erase. I wasn't expecting it to actually erase anything, but I'm pleasantly surprised that the make your own Oh no, my leaf. My leaf fell off. <laughs> no. Um oh dear. Anyway, I'm quite surprised that a bake your own eraser kit like this does actually erase fairly decently. I mean, come on, look, it does have like a little bit of streakiness and let's move the leaf, RIP leaf. F's in the chat for the leaf. It does have a little bit of like, um, what you call it, smudging. 
does have some smudging across there. It has erased fairly decently. It's not done the worst job in the world. I have actually used erasers that have done a lot worse, but it's not the best in the world. It's just say that this wouldn't replace my actual eraser. I wouldn't like to use this on one of my professional coloured pencil pieces, let's put it that way. Did have to push quite hard to actually erase anything. So it's not the best if you're just wanting something that does a really easy job. But can we just admire these eraser residues here because they are amazing. Look how rainbow they are. I love that this erases pink as well. 10 out of 10 that it does actually erase but I'm going to give it about a 5 for performance wise. But look how cute these guys are. Now they're covered in eraser residue as well. Going to add these to my collection on my shelf and never ever use them they're just going to be for display purposes i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're new around here hit that sub button i upload new art videos every single week for you guys to enjoy thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye